Hello everybody, this is Mr. Hagag um, with another screencast and I'm going to talk about uh, Java variables and how you can uh, declare them, initialize them, and then print them. So I'm going to create a new class, I'm going to call it var prac, var practice, I'm going to include main, again ignore these warnings. Um, a variable is basically the name of a container or box in memory that's going to store uh, some information. Okay, so our previous project, our previous like program, we never actually created anything that saved anything. We just printed stuff to the screen. So um, to declare something, which means to create it in memory, I have to tell the computer what kind of information I'm going to store and the name of the variable that I want to store. And, um, and also, so the name of the box, what kind of information I'm going to store, and then the actual information. So um, I'm going to first start with int. So I'm going to call it in, um, so let's take a look at this example. Um, if I want to store an integer, which is basically any whole number, positive, negative, I'm going to use uh, int, which is uh, Java's data type that stores integers. So I'm going to type an int, which is the data type, num people, which is the variable name. So now if you imagine like a box or a container, and the name of that box is num people, and inside of that box, I'm going to store the number 5, because 5 is an integer. Okay, I can't store 5.7 because 5.7 is not an integer, and as you can see, I underlined it in red for me. Okay, the other kind of number that I can store is a double, which mathematically speaking is a real number. So basically, um, any number on the spectrum. Uh, so 5.6, 89.2, negative 100.3, even 6.0 would be a double. So anytime I have the possibility of having a fraction of something, I can, I'll use a double. So money is a good example of a double. I'm going to store 34.53 or 53, yeah. Um, oh, I spelled double wrong. All right. So num people is the name of this box. Money is the name of this box. Uh, this box stores a double and this box stores an int, an integer. All right, so now let's go ahead and print it. The print command is the exact same thing as um, if I wanted to print like a, a sentence to the screen. So I'm going to do system.println and I'll say num pople, pople, and then syso uh, money. Again, the shorthand for system.println is just syso control space. So what this does is it tells um, the computer, hey, go in memory. Find a box that's called num people, extract what's inside that box, in this case it's a 5, and go ahead and print it to the screen. Do the same exact thing for money. So when I run this program, it's going to print 5 and 34.53. Alright? If I put num people around, if I put quotations around num people, it's literally going to print num people, N U M P E O P L E. Right. But because I took out, off the quotations, it treats it as a variable and it goes, oh, there must be a box called num people. Let's go and check inside what's what's inside of it and let's print it to the screen. And that's exactly what it did. So it printed 534.53. Cool. So those are the number um, data types into number. I mean, there's so many other um, data types that store numbers, but I'm just going to keep it simple and, and just tell you about the ones that, you know, most people use. Okay, the next data type I'm going to talk about is a care. Uh, a care stands for character, so C-H-A-R. Or some people say char or whatever, I just call it care. Uh, C-H-A-R, again, I can name the variable whatever I want. I'm going to call it bleh. I suggest you call your variables, you know, give it more meaningful names depending on what you want to save. But I can't really think of anything right now, so I'm going to call it bleh. And then I'm going to initialize it to... Um, the dollar sign. So basically a character is anything that you can type on the keyboard. One single thing. One single key. So any number, any single digit. So like 8, 0, 5, 2. Any le letter. Lowercase e, upperca uppercase e. So for example, lowercase e is a different character than uppercase e, even though in our minds are the same letter. Okay. So let's say I'm going to store e. Okay. So now inside this box called ble is an e. So if I print ble, it's going to print just e. Cool. All right. So int 
double, and care. Those are, th those are three primitive data values, which means I can't do anything fancy with them. They don't have special features, methods, and then we'll talk about that later. Um, the next data type, or actually class, I should say, is a string. A string is a class, and we've used them before when we printed the um, Hey What's Up World program. A string is any group of characters. Again, let's name it, say, uh, let's call it, I don't know, sup people. Okay, so it's going to call it the end. So this says sup people, and so I have the box, any of the boxes say, and inside of my box I have this entire string, sup people. So if I go ahead and print it, it's going to print, well, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and run it, boom. E's from the character here, and then sub people, it's going to print sub people right here. Let me, let me comment out this so I don't get confused. So I'll go ahead and run it, and it prints sub people. So now I have a box in memory called say, and inside of it is sub people. Alrighty, so now let me give you another example. Let's say I have a care called M. Again, the name of the variable is M, I'm not storing M. I'm storing whatever I put in these single quotes. And again, for characters, I have to surround it in single quotes. For strings, I have to surround it in double quotes. So if I have a character called M with dollar sign in it, and I have a double called um, money, I'm gonna save in it 54.67, like $54.67. Again, anything that uses that has a possibility of a fraction, I'm gonna use a double. And here, I'm gonna say, I don't know, I'm not listening to. Akon, I'm so paid. I'm so paid. So if I print say, and then I print um, M, and then I print um, money, it's gonna print I'm so paid, dollar sign, 54.67, all on separate lines. Now, if I wanted to make them all in the same line, I'm just gonna remove the LN. And it's gonna print I'm um, so paid, dollar sign 54.67 without any new lines in between. All right. Um, let me think what else. So we did numbers, which instant doubles. We did care. We did string. What else? Oh, yeah. So let me give you one final example. It'll sum up everything. If I have an int called x, again, the name of the box is x. The name of the variable is x. I'll store 9 in it. And I have a... Um, a care called y and I'm going to store 9 in it stay with me I'm going to create a string and I'll call it z I'm going to store 9 in it now check this out I have 9 here stored as an int the data type is an int the data type for this is a care the data type for this so x is an int y is a care z is a string to us they all look the same Right, even if I print them, watch if I if I print all of them, if I print X, and then I go ahead and I print um, Y, and I go ahead and I print Z, it's gonna print nine nine nine. Okay, so the output looks exactly the same. However, in memory they're stored differently. Inside the X box, no pun, I have nine in it. As, a, as an int, as a number. Here I have, inside y, I have nine stored as a character. And then uh, for z, I have nine stored as a string. And as you can see, string has double quotes around it, care has single quotes, and uh, just nine has nine. And notice when I print them, it doesn't print the double quotes, it doesn't print the single quotes, it just prints nine, nine, nine. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Um, next I'll talk about, I think, string methods. Goodbye.